We are currently seeing some showers grazing areas near the Lake Michigan shoreline, and you can see all of this rain stretching back through Iowa and Nebraska. That's all going to continue moving up towards the northeast. So what we've seen today will continue into tomorrow. Making national headlines is this very early in the season winter storm affecting parts of Colorado, and there are winter storm warnings that remain in effect for all the areas highlighted in pink throughout parts of Colorado, parts of northern Utah, Western Nebraska and into Wyoming as well. And the back edge of this storm system will eventually move off towards the northeast and become our rain chance heading into Saturday. But we will not be getting any of the cold and snowy weather like they are seeing out towards the Rockies. And you can see here the dividing line between where it's still feeling like summer and where it's certainly feeling like fall. Temperatures are sitting at 48 degrees in Marquette. It's 52 degrees in Minneapolis. It's 89 Nine degrees in Indianapolis and 84 degrees in Pittsburgh along this boundary that's dividing the warm and cool air and just to the north of it. That's where we are seeing showers develop and continue to move along from southwest to northeast. As we go into tomorrow, we will continue to have chances of scattered showers across our area and then drier conditions are going to move in for Thursday, although it is going to be very cold early Thursday morning and then Friday is going to be brighter and warmer. For this evening, you can see here still a chance of showers near the Lake Michigan shoreline. Elsewhere, we're seeing mainly cloudy skies. Then tomorrow, we'll have another round of showers pushing in around midday and into the afternoon. Certainly, the wettest locations will be south and east of Marquette, but just about everyone east of Barriga, east of Iron River, will have chances of showers throughout the day tomorrow. The driest locations for Wednesday will be in the Keweenaw Peninsula and along the western edge of the UP. And then as we go into Thursday, drier conditions spread in for all places across the UP. Some cloud cover possible at times, but we should see some sunshine too, and the dry conditions will last into Friday. Over the next three days, our chance of rain will be highest during the day on Wednesday, dropping off Wednesday night. Completely dry conditions for Thursday and generally staying dry through Friday as well. Just a slight increase in the chance of rain late Friday night, but that increase is really going to be heading into our area for Saturday. Temperatures tomorrow will only reach highs in the lower 50s. That it's going to get very cold early Thursday, but by Thursday afternoon we'll have highs in the lower 60s. Friday will be the warmest over the next five days with high temperatures reaching the upper 60s. Some spots could get close to 70 and then over the weekend we'll have high temperatures around the lower 60s. For tomorrow morning we'll have temperatures in the 40s, cloudy skies. Our chance of showers increases for the afternoon and highs only reaching 51 degrees. Evening temperatures will be in the 40s and staying cloudy. For Thursday, becoming mostly sunny, but in the morning, we're going to start out with temperatures in the upper 30s and 40s. High temperatures for Thursday afternoon reaching about 63 degrees and clear in the evening with temperatures in the 50s. On Friday, we'll have morning temperatures in the 40s, mostly sunny skies with high temperatures reaching 68 degrees and then some increasing cloud cover in the evening. Our next round of showers will move in Saturday with that storm system currently over Colorado, but it's going to lose some of the cold air that is producing all of that snow in the Rockies. We will have high temperatures around here reaching the lower 60s on Saturday. And then Sunday's looking drier, partly cloudy in the afternoon. We'll have morning temperatures in the 50s and highs on Sunday near 60 degrees.